Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace rear bumper mount on Mazda CX-7 right here that we have guys. We remove the rear bumper to show you what we are talking about. Uh, we will cover the whole procedure. This is the mount right here. Okay, left and right side and there is another one right here that holds the bumper. If your bumper is sagging on one side, you had a very minor accident, it could be just the mount and they are very inexpensive and not so hard to replace. So uh, we are gonna go ahead, show you guys, the right side is identical, we'll go ahead remove the bumper and get back to it. Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe, let's grow the channel together. Okay guys, uh, before we proceed with removing the bumper you need to remove tail lights. We'll show you how to do that. We already removed one, uh, the driver side will be exactly the same as the passenger side. We want to show you because there is a couple clips here hidden so we don't damage your bumper. So let's go ahead and remove the tail light now. Okay, what you need to do right there, there is a lid that you're going to pull and there is only, okay, let me show you, there is only three, three nuts holding it. Get those loose and once you get them loose they usually go by hand, pretty easy. Okay, and next, uh, after you remove all these nuts, we'll need to either disconnect the bulbs or turn them counterclockwise, that way you can release them. Okay, we are almost done with the, with the nuts. And as I said, driver side will be, will be identical. One bump is out, second one, third, and we have one little for parking lights. Okay, right there. You need to grab on this side a little bit first, and then you need to grab it really tight and pull. And if it's never been removed, it will take a while, okay, even two people. Because this is the clip right here guys that's holding. Okay, it goes right here. And this tends to be really tight if the tail light never been removed. So we remove this one. Uh, driver side will be identical. Now we can proceed with the bumper. Okay, next we'll need to go underneath. Okay, and you can see where the exhaust is with eight millimeter socket. We need to remove a screw. Okay, it's almost out of there now. Sometimes they tend to rust really bad there. Next we need to remove those uh, clips right here. You need to remove the middle piece out and then you can pull the whole clip. Okay, like that. We're going to do uh, the same thing on this side as well. So we don't forget about those. Okay, right there. Okay, and just the clips that we removed, there is another one. Okay, right there. I cannot get the camera in. Okay, that's what it looks like. And those tend to break there sometimes, depending if there is mud stuck in them or no. Okay guys, then we need a, a 7 millimeter socket, okay, and there is one screw. Okay, let me show you exactly where it is, trying to block the light so you can see. You can see right behind the tire, so go ahead and remove this one all the way. There is not enough clearance to put the camera between the wheel, between the wheel and the fender, okay, that's what it looks like. And after that, we need to release it from the clips right here. Okay, it came out and just one more on top right here holding, you can see the fender liner. Okay, and that whole piece of fender liner just came out. Right there now, okay, right here there is uh, another bolt that we need to remove with 8mm socket. So you can see the screwdriver how it is, so we have an idea where exactly it is and those tend to get stuck sometimes, being so little but rust and dirt will get their water. Okay, almost coming out.
Okay, that's what it looks like. Alright guys, so now what we need to do, there is the same clip like we already removed. Okay, on the other side, remember that one. Okay, so let's see if we can get a view here. Okay, that's where the clip is, all the way in that hole there. So we need to pull the middle piece out and pull the whole clip, okay. You can see, you can see where exactly that thing is. So hard to reach. And on the bottom, we need to remove that uh, that bolt that we already removed with the eight millimeter socket on the other side. Now, just the same thing we did on the other side, we need to do it on this one as well. That bolt there, we need to remove. That holds the uh, fender underliner there. Okay, right there. You can see where the hole is right there. And we need to release all the clips here now. Okay, and this piece will come loose now. Okay, came right out. Then we have the one bolt here with 8mm socket that we need to remove that holds the fender towards the cover panel here. Okay, right there. After that we need to go under the vehicle. Okay, and there is two more. Okay, towards the bag you can see right behind the exhaust. Okay. Right there, there is two more clips that we need to remove, one on this side and one right there. So we'll just go take care of those now. Okay, next, preferably you need two people now, because we'll start putting it on one side, it comes out of the clips. Careful not to break the mount. Okay, you can see you need to lift it up a little bit here, in order to pull it out. And it's still a little bit stuck, came out there. We're going to do the same procedure on the passenger side now. Lift up, get it out of the mount. Okay, next, right there, with a prank tool, we will need to pry it a little bit because there is a few clips. We'll show you where they are once we remove it. And it's, okay, it's pretty tight. Okay, almost, almost came out. Just careful not to damage it there. Okay, and now all we have to do, just pull it out guys, that's it. Those are the clips that we were talking about. You can see how big they are, and that's where they go. So the, the bumper is secured pretty good on that model, that's a good thing. Okay guys, once you remove the bumper cover, that's okay, that's the side bumper mount right here you can just go ahead and remove it with an eight millimeter socket okay this, i think it has only two screws okay right here uh, sometimes the, those will get damaged and your bumper might be hanging a little bit sometimes they will crack it's just plastic holding the bumper so if you bump them a little bit they will they they, they might break easy Okay, and once you remove that, okay, the two, the two screws, now there is a clip here. Okay, so you need to just pry it out of there, that's the one that centers it in place. Okay, this one came out, okay, you can see this is the clip right here. Okay, and this is the mount, the bumper mount. The upper one is uh, about the same way, you need to remove... Uh, Remove that screw in the middle there. Okay, and there will be a clip again holding it on the bottom there. And when you get a new one, you just push it in. Old ones trying to remove them, sometimes they will break. Those are very fragile. Okay, right there, this one didn't. So that's how you guys remove and replace the bumper mounts, rear bumper mounts on Mazda CX-7. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.